Earlier this year, I showed you how you can use Submachine with Premiere Pro to automatically animate your captions word by word like this. Well, this video is an update video and showing you more ways you can create popular animation styles to your captions in Premiere Pro. All right, let's jump on in. So Submachine is a plugin for Premiere Pro that handles all of the animation to your captions automatically for you. Now you might be like, whoa, 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 gal, another plugin, really? Why can't it be built in Premiere Pro? And I hear you, this capability is not yet in Premiere Pro, but trust me, using this plugin is far better than doing it the manual way of literally keyframing that background word for word. And the good thing about this plugin is that while it has a subscription option, it also has a lifetime option. And you can use my link below to get 10% off the subscription or the lifetime option. So the way that Submachine works is that it takes the timing of your generated captions and transforms them into Mogerts with the animation applied. And it currently comes with seven different Mogert styles that you can apply to your captions. For Submachine to work though, you first need to know how to generate your captions. And that means using Premiere Pro's built-in text-to-speech feature. So here inside of Premiere Pro, I just have this short demo clip to demonstrate the text-to-speech feature. First, you're gonna go up to Window, go to the text panel. From transcript, click on this tab here and you'll see that it's already transcribed this demo clip. So you might be like, well, mine isn't automatically transcribed. Well, that's because I've turned on Premiere Pro's auto transcription of all the clips by going up to Premiere Pro preferences transcription. And here you can see that I have automatically transcribed clips. You can also choose to only have the clips in your sequence transcribed and then press okay. So from here, I recommend proofreading your transcript. If you need to, you can just double click and literally highlight the text you want to edit and type in your new text. Text. So transcript is done. Now let's generate the captions. So you can click right up here on this ellipsis and create captions. So here is the important part and pay close attention. So we're gonna toggle open the captioning preferences. And here we need to reduce the maximum length down to seven and the minimum duration down to 1.2. Then change the lines to single. Now we can create the captions. So now we have our fast captions time coded over here in the text panel. And if we play it back, you can see that there are some white basic captions playing on the video. Did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? So now how do we use these captions with Submachine? We're gonna go up here to the top, select the ellipsis and export the captions as a .srt file. So we can just call this demo gal, as long as it has that .srt and save. So now we need to open up the submachine panel. And if you haven't installed it and you don't know how to install it, you can check out the submachine support. They have a lot of detail on how to do that. So once it's installed, go up to window, extensions, then go to submachine. And here it is opened up. So the first style that we're going to do is the Harmozy popular captioning style. And inside of Submachine, they actually call the Mogert style, the Dynamo style. So the first thing we need to do is drop in the SRT file that we just exported. So we have our SRT file here. Let's drag and drop it into this field. And next we need to drag in the Dynamo Mogert file. So from my latest download of Submachine, I'm gonna go into Mogerts and unzip this file. So you can see we have all of the different styles here. In this case, we're going to use the Dynamo style. Now you're given all these different options with different frame rates. You need to make sure to choose the frame rate of your sequence. If you have no idea, what you can do is go back to Premiere Pro, go to your project panel, and next to your sequence, for example, this sequence, you have a column that says frame rate you can see that we're using 24 frames per second. So back inside of Submachine, drag and drop the 24 frames per second Mogert into this field. We can also disable these Times New Roman captions here because we don't want these displayed. So next we have characters per phrase, and this is how long you want the captions to be. Now this will depend on your frame size, right? This blue area here is for nine by 16 vertical. So you can you know, use this slider and be safe for vertical in this kind of darker blue region. If we move over to this lighter blue region, this is for one by one aspect ratio. So it'll be longer for the square aspect ratio. And then this turquoise color, this is for 16 by nine landscape video. So if you're working with landscape, you'll be safe choosing a length in this region. So in my case, we're inside of the vertical workspace of Premiere Pro. So I'm going to move this over to the 16 by nine 
and I'll choose 16. And next, create subs. Look at that. It's done. They even added that little ding sound effect. It basically just converted all these captions into Mogart. So let's see the default. Did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? So you can see it's a little bit small and we want to do some customization here. And this is where we go into the essential graphics panel. You only have to select one of them, then go to essential graphics. Here I want to make the size bigger. So let's just go ahead and crank this up. For the current line color, I wanna kinda of make it more of an orangey yellow color. So let's select this, bring this up to be a little bit more of an orangey yellow color. Next, we can update the style and color. So I wanna make the width of the stroke bigger. So we can increase that. And as we do that, it gets thicker, right? But it also pushes up the letty and the space between the lines more, but we can fix that. Underneath animation, I'll have it scale the current line slightly. So that current line just gets a little bit bigger than the line beneath it. And then we can go down to paragraph and spacing and we can adjust the character tracking. So it's a little bit more space between the characters and the letting. So if you want these to be more separate, you can increase this amount or bring it down closer together just by decreasing this slightly. We can go back to this caption here make sure the playhead is on this caption and then we can lasso and select just by clicking and rectangle marquee around all of these captions go back to submachine and now from the tools tab select sync all and you can see it working and it's basically updating all the captions to this new style. So now when we play it back, did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? There's a whole bunch of other effects that you can do here inside of Essential Graphics using these Mogurt controls here. For example, you can add a shake, you can add a rotation amount, a zoom amount. So remember, you can go back to the Essential Graphics panel, make any updates, and then after you make that update, just select all of them, go to Submachine and Sync All. So let's say you want to try a new style. For example, the karaoke word by word style that I like to use in my videos. The good news is, is we don't have to regenerate the transcript again. We can just try a new style. Here I have a new sequence here without any captions in it. And let's go over here to Submachine Workflow again. We already have the SRT file imported from before. All we need to do is import the new Mogurt file. And you don't have to drag and drop it into the text field. You can actually click on the Mogurt icon here and it will bring up your finder for you to select the Mogurt that you want. Underneath karaoke, I'm going to choose the 24 frames per second karaoke and open. And I'm keeping it at 16 characters per phrase for vertical and create subs. And just like that, it's done. But let's make some adjustments. Let's select this one, go over to Essential Graphics, change the background fill color to be a little bit more brighter turquoise. Let's go to Effect Controls to make it a little bit bigger. And now remember to keep your playhead here and lasso and select everything, go to Submachine, Sync All. And here it is. Did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? So if you're looking for other ways that you can spice up your social video edits, Envato Elements is the place to go. My team and I use Envato Elements library of stock video, music, sound effects, and templates to help us build our story in an engaging way. And we started using it for our TikTok clients as well. For Shoba Music, a super talented singer and TikToker, we use Envato Elements to help bring her singing videos to life. We use backgrounds, motion graphics footage of confetti, fire, and other effects. And the best part is, is that it's unlimited. So we can download as much as we need to test out to make sure it fits the edit. You can use as many assets as you want in any type of project. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can use my link below to get 70% off your first month and there are no strings attached. Thanks so much Envato and now let's get back into the captioning. Now let's try another style, a TikTok style. Let's go to our new sequence with the exact same video clip, go over to Submachine, choose our Mogurt and let's choose the TikTok. 24 frames per second, open, create subs. Sweet. Did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? I'm just going to scale this one up slightly and just bring it up. And I usually keep my captions higher on vertical social videos so that way it doesn't overlap with the description UI and social media. So in this case, because we just updated the position, all we have to do now is lasso and select all of them, go to Submachine, Tools, and Sync, Position, Scale, Rotation. And now all of them, did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? 
have the same size and position. Another thing that you might be wondering about is why they have two stacked layers here. Well, that's because it's per phrase. So on video layer two, we have four here. And each of these represent a different word in the progression of this one phrase. And you can see the pattern here in the timeline. The first phrase is on video layer two, and then the second phrase is on video layer three. The third goes back down to video layer two. So the way it works is if we select this Mogurt and go to Essential Graphics, the white highlight is on word number one. If we go to the second Mogurt, this word progression is automatically set to two. And look, U is highlighted in white. This is why I recommend proofreading beforehand, but if you ever need to change the order, remember you can always select this, go to Essential Graphics and update the text here, and then you can change the word progression. So if you needed this one to highlight number three instead, that goes away. So as I said before, let's say you don't wanna to have to re-edit it to your brand each time you go into Premiere Pro and use Submachine. Well, what you can do is open up the Mogurt in After Effects first and customize it. So first we need to go and open up After Effects. Then go to File, Open Project. And here we can select which Mogurt we wanna customize. So let's say we wanna customize the light 24 frames per second Mogurt file. Just click Open. And here it'll ask you to extract the After Effects project from the Mogurt file because the Mogurt is just a compressed After Effects project. Let's save it into the same folder here and we can just call this demo and hit extract. So let's change this to fit view to get a preview of what it looks like. And we're going to use the essential graphics panel to customize it. If you don't have this open, go up to window and go to essential graphics. The first thing that you probably wanna customize is the font. So for example, the Mr. Beast Comica style, let's say we wanna use this. And let's say we wanna make it a little bit bigger. What we can do is just scale this up slightly. If we do too much, it'll go onto a different line here. So what we can do instead is we can go down here to text and press S and we can just scale this up slightly and press P to bring this down. Next, let's say we don't want the current word color to change. What we can do is change this to white to match the original color. And let's say we wanna lower the opacity of the unspoken text, let's change this to 50. Here's the updated Mogurt. Next, we just have to export it. So let's export motion graphics template, save, and let's browse and let's save it to the same folder and let's just call it demo and hit save, press okay. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro and let's choose this new Mogurt that we just created. Hit open. And now when we click create subs, we now have this customized Mogurt. Did you know that you can now add transitions to your captions in Premiere Pro? and we didn't have to make any changes inside the Essential Graphics panel in Premiere Pro. If you want access to this custom Mogurt that I made and more Mogurts that I make for Submachine, you can join my Patreon and join my Discord server where you can access the priority room, which is where I will share these free Mogurts for you to use. So Submachine is for social videos, right? Because they're quite short. So generating those Mogurts to fit your captions doesn't take very long to do, but let's say you have a 10 minute video or a 30 minute video. Using Submachine on that entire video will take a long time, but you can still do it on long form videos just like I do in the beginning of my videos using nesting. So here I have a 10 minute timeline. Now, if I go to the text panel and go to transcript, I don't wanna use this entire transcript to then export as a .srt file. Instead, I wanna take this intro here, lasso and select it, right click and nest press OK. So now if I double click on this nest, all I have in this sequence is just this short intro, which is seven seconds long. Now, if I go back to the text panel, I just have the transcript from this sequence, which is what I want. So proofread it first. And now we can generate the captions just like before, minimum, single, create captions. And then we can go here to export .srt file. Go to Submachine, import that SRT file that we just made. And now I'm going to choose the new Gal Karaoke, which is the Mogurt that we customize. Let's select this one, open. So instead of moving the slider to 16 by nine landscape, I actually like my character phrases to be a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna move mine here to around 30 and then hit create subs. So starting team projects for the first time can feel intimidating. And now going back to the main sequence, we have our captions on the main video just in the intro. 
So if you want to learn more about AI text-based editing inside of Premiere Pro, you can click right over here to go check out that video and you can click over here to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want more videos on captioning styles in Premiere Pro. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Woo!